Hi guys, good morning. So uh, I actually want to show us the most easiest and the most fastest way to download quality pictures from Behance. I know some of us designers, uh, a whole lot of times we used to actually take a screenshot and uh, bring it to Photoshop and crop and do all these things. But there's actually a way, a very easy and fast way you can download um, pictures or mockups from Behance. And uh, that's what I'm here to show us today. So without taking much of our time, I think we can just dive in. So here we are. We are here in uh, Behance, or we can, if you don't have Behance, all you have to do is just to uh, search for the name Behance and it will bring you either to your profile or uh, to the uh, homepage. This is the homepage. So for instance, uh, or for, for some of us who actually do not know what Behance is, um, it's actually a platform for designers, world designers, you understand, where you can actually get um, and ideas for your own project. So for instance now, let's say uh, you have an image or a picture that you want to use in your project. You understand? So let's look for a project that resonates with what you're working with or just a project or a picture you want to add to your uh, designs. You understand? So say for instance, you are working uh, on a jewelry uh, project and uh, say Sorry, we're looking for a quality stuff that we can actually download. Yeah, not just generic, something that we can get online. Yeah, okay. So, oh, let's just search. You can search, say African food packaging. Okay, I just search this. And, uh, I don't want to take much of your time. Okay, here, say for instance, you have this. All right, and uh, you need this image, this image of a lady. You understand? Because you want to tweak some of your things and uh, add more cups and all these things. So all you have to do is just to right click and then go to inspect. So if you go to inspect, you discover that it will divide the screen for you halfway. And uh, if you're not even okay, you can increase it like this or just leave it the way it is. Uh, it's your own choice. So you discover that there are a lot of uh, icons and tabs and also ever. But our focus is just on this, this icon, this icon, this icon, and this icon, this one, this very one, select an element. You understand? This select too. And uh, it has its own shortcut, Control Shift C, if you want to do it. But it's easier if you just click on inspect and then uh, do that. So here, so you just click on this icon and then you discover that anywhere you click it to, as in the tab here will keep changing. You understand? It will keep changing, it will keep changing. So this is the image that we want and you discover that the color has changed. So you just click on it and then it will bring you to this image, to this side. And then on this side, you can actually just click on it and uh, make sure that you are on the image when you click. You understand? So you could actually just select the image. Sorry, let's go back. Uh -huh. You can actually just select the image like this and then it will open. Boom. That's it. All you have to do now is just to either copy it and take it to your software or save it. I prefer save it. I told you I prefer save it. So I just save it and then maybe just bring it to my Photoshop and then do what I have to do with it. There are a tons, tons, tons and tons of images, quality images like HD, 4K images that you can uh, actually use from their hands. And then that, that, that's the most easiest way to get it. And then for some of us, what we are actually used to doing you can actually just close this. What we used to do is, okay, if I see this image and I like it, I will press the Windows print screen and then I'll go back and then I'll paste it, you see? And then I'll come and start cropping and then doing all this, doing all these stuff. And then that's not really going to give you a quality image. You understand? I just press Control uh, Cut, that's Control X, and then I'll bring it back, you see? So at some point, if you if, if you expand this, it's going to pixelate, you understand? This is not a quality image, this is not what we need. What we need is a very quality something. You understand and the easiest way you can actually get it is just by inspecting you inspect the image you click on this if the image disappears you go back you click on it and it will bring you to this and you just can click this and then you can copy your image or you can save it you understand so stuff like this yeah guys so that's what i have for us today just a few tips and tricks on how to uh, do some stuff uh on behance thank you very much